the human spirit, capturing love's ambivalent and flawed nature that continues to resonate today. In conclusion, the classics of world literature have developed a rich and enduring philosophy of love through complex and nuanced portrayals of human longing, desire and attachment. Works like Plato. Symposium, Dante's Divine Comedy and Goethe's The Sorrows of Young Werder have shaped modern conceptions of love by highlighting its potential for spiritual transcendence, self-discovery and fulfill. Symposium, Dante's Divine Comedy and Goethe's The Sorrows of Young Werder have shaped modern conceptions of love by highlighting its potential for spiritual transcendence, self-discovery and fulfill. Meant as well as its capacity to induce suffering and alienation. The classics reveal love in all its complexities as a primal human impulse with the power to both elevate and devastate the soul. The I. Love is a universal human experience that has been explored and celebrated in literature, art, and philosophy for centuries. From the ancient Greeks to modern thinkers, the philosophy of love has evo. Vet and developed, shaping our understanding of what it means to love and be loved. In this article, we will explore the development of the philosophy of love through the classics of the world, examine. Vet and developed, shaping our understanding of what it means to love and be loved. In this article, we will explore the development of the philosophy of love through the classics of the world, examine. In the key ideas, themes, and thinkers that have shaped our understanding of this complex and powerful emotion. Ancient Greece is often cited as the birthplace of Western philosophy, and it is here that we find some of the earliest and most enduring ideas about love. The ancient Greek philosopher Plato for X. Uvel explored the nature of love in his work, Symposium. In this dialogue, a group of philosophers gather to discuss the nature of love, and each presents his own view of what love is and how it is. Uvel explored the nature of love in his work, Symposium. In this dialogue, a group of philosophers gather to discuss the nature of love, and each presents his own view of what love is and how it is. Old be understood. One of the key ideas presented in the symposium is the concept of platonic love. This is a love that is not based on physical attraction, but rather on a deep emotional and intellectual connection. Between two individuals. According to Plato, this type of love is the highest and purest form of love, and it is only through this kind of love that we can achieve true happiness and fulfillment. Between two individuals. According to Plato, this type of love is the highest and purest form of love, and it is only through this kind of love that we can achieve true happiness and fulfillment. Another important concept presented in the symposium is the idea of the other half. According to this idea, each person has a perfect match, a soulmate that completes them and fulfills their deep. SD Desires This idea has had a significant impact on Western culture, inspiring countless stories, songs, and works of art that celebrate the idea of finding one's true love. SD Desires This idea has had a significant impact on Western culture, inspiring countless stories, songs, and works of art that celebrate the idea of finding one's true love. Moving forward in history we find another seminal work on the philosophy of love in the form of The Art of Loving by Eric Fromm. Published in 1956, this book explores the nature of love in modern society, examining the different forms of love that we experience and the challenges that we face in cultivating meaningful and fulfilling relationships. Society, examining the different forms of love that we experience and the challenges that we face in cultivating meaningful and fulfilling relationships. One of the key ideas presented in the art of loving is the concept of self-love. According to Fromm, true love begins with a love of oneself, and it is only through this self-love that we can truly love others. 
This idea challenges the traditional notion that love is a selfless act, suggesting instead that we must first take care of ourselves in order to be able to care for others. Love others. This idea challenges the traditional notion that love is a selfless act, suggesting instead that we must first take care of ourselves in order to be able to care for others. Another important concept presented in the art of loving is the idea of love as an art form. According to Fromm, love is not a feeling that we passively experience, but rather a skill that we must. To be cultivate and practice. This concept has had a significant impact on modern culture, inspiring countless self-help books, workshops, and seminars that teach individuals how to improve their art.